Mm. Mm. That's good. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you there. I was busy reading a book because I'm smart. But you know what? There are better ways to broadcast our vanity instead of setting up a camera and recording ourselves reading. They're called testimonial sliders. Let's build one. Hey, welcome to this tutorial. Let's build a testimonial slider using the Squarespace auto list section. Makes it really easy to manage and update these testimonials, add in more, remove old ones, however you wanna do it. Um, so I've got it set up. This is what it's gonna end up looking like, but we can tweak any of the colors and these border radiuses and the, the text font size and all that stuff. I'll show you how to do all of that. Um, but let's just jump in. All right, starting from a totally blank template here. Um, so I'm just gonna hit edit to jump in and we're gonna add a new section. You can add this wherever you want on any page. It doesn't have to be a new page, but I'm just gonna hit add section. We're gonna go to our list. Uh, and these are all presets. So it really doesn't matter which one of these you choose because you can style it however you want. Uh, but I'm just gonna find whichever one looks kind of the closest. Uh, I'm just gonna pick this one, how about? But again, doesn't matter. You can pick any one. We're gonna change the settings right now. That's the first thing we're gonna do. So first hit this edit content button. Well, let's take a look at this. So this is just a slider. I mean, it's an infinite slider. It just keeps going. You see the images repeat. What we're gonna wanna do is add in our content into this area down here. We're gonna re wanna remove these images and this button because that's not, we don't need those for the testimonial. Um, and then we'll just keep this slider functionality. We might move these buttons around. So that's generally what we're trying to do. So let's first jump into the edit content. Uh, let's start with elements. On this elements tab, this we have the section, the section area, I guess, where we can toggle on a title. This will be a title for the entire auto list sections and a button for the entire auto list section right there. But we don't want either one of those. Oop. Uh, what we want to edit is these items right here. So we want to show our title and our body and nothing else. So I'm gonna toggle these off. And these are for each of these items. So that's sort of the structure of these list sections. You have the list section right here, and then within it you have all the items. And then we can change out the layouts depending on our, on our design tab over here. So I just have title and body toggled on. Let's go to design. We want this setting on carousel right here. Uh, we'll want to center this, have the alignment center because that little arrow at the bottom of sort of the uh, of the testimonial bubble uh, that needs to be centered. That'll look the best right there. I'm going to change my columns to three, so only have three in at a at a time. I'm going to turn on my infinite scroll, turn on my adjacent slide, so you can see, so it's visually apparent that there's more that the user can slide and scroll. I want to do that. Let's jump into this style area. Um, I probably we can edit the buttons in here these arrows so I'm gonna put these at the bottom and the center that's probably about right we can change our text size maybe to medium a little bit bigger you can toggle on card I don't I'm not gonna do card uh, and then we're gonna do space above navigation this is up to you this is sort of your choice whatever you want I'm gonna keep that at medium and now let's go in again on our design tab size and space all of these settings you can tweak however you want. Um, I'm gonna go, let's go with inset, sure. The content width, so that is the width of each one of our items within here. I'm gonna make that medium, again, up to you. Actually, this one you probably should do small or medium so it doesn't overlap. Um, and then let's see, space, a lot of these you can just tweak however you want. I'm gonna center these vertically so they're right in the middle. Uh, and that's about it. So we're kind of got the general setup here. Now the only thing you need to do is add in the content for each item. So in our content tab, just jump into each one of these and we're going to, in our title area, we're gonna put the name. So first name, uh, first name, last name, however you want. Uh, and then we're going to add in some HTML in here. And that HTML is gonna be a span with a class equal to attribution attribution and so this is what it looks like i have code on my website over here you can just copy it straight from here right there you can just copy that and paste it in and edit it however you want uh, and be sure to close out our span tag over here and then within this our opening and closing span we're going to put in whatever our attribution is so this might be uh, your title, this might be your location, whatever you want to put in here, do that. 
items. Okay, so we got that done. Let's here, let's click around and you can see this is how it's gonna look. It's just gonna look very normal. It's gonna look kind of odd because we haven't separated this. We'll do all that with CSS, that's okay. We'll just wait till later. And then right in here, put in whatever the testimonial is. So I'm gonna do that with my content, you do it with yours, uh, and then let's come back and do the rest, do the styling of all this. All right, you've done it, I've done it. This is what uh, mine looks like right now. I've got all of them in there. I only have four testimonials, but you, we're gonna have our text on top, sort of the, the name and attribution, and then the testimonial down below. So what we need to do is flip that, because we want it the opposite way, put some you know border and color, background color, to our testimonial, and just style this up a little bit. I've done the heavy lifting of getting that code together for you. So just head over to my website and go down to the code part and just copy this. So copy that whole thing. We're gonna go back to our website, design custom CSS, and then paste that code in right here. So we're just gonna paste it in. Nothing's gonna happen immediately because we, what we need to do is we need to target this one specific auto layout section and apply all of this code to it. Right now, this is just, this is a nothing. This is a placeholder. You need to replace this right here. So the best way to do that is to use Heather Tovey's Squarespace ID Finder. So I just click this in Chrome and it pops up right here. If you don't have this, I highly recommend installing it. You have to use Chrome to use it, but it's well worth it. Uh, so just go over to the Chrome uh, web store and just type in Squarespace ID Finder. You can even type it into Google. Squarespace ID Finder Chrome Store, and this should pop up. And just add it, very simple, and then you can use this. So I'm gonna copy this unique ID for our section, and then replace this placeholder right there. And then it all formats, it gets set, and it's, honestly, you're good to go right now. This works on mobile, all of this is just, it's, it's kinda good. But, if you wanna tweak this, if you wanna change the styles, hang with me because I'll just go over the variables that we have right here. All right, so let's just do that right now. I don't know why I said wait here because you're just still right here. So the first one, the, the, these first six or five is just the coloring. So let's just get our coloring right. So this is the background color of the testimonial bubble right there. So you can change that to whatever you want, any color value, hex, uh, RGBA, HSLA. You could even just type in the color name right there, blue, and it'll just change. So get that dialed in however you want. You can change the testimonial text color, which is right here, so you can change that to anything you want. Um, we have our attribution color, so this is down here, so this will stay black, and then this attribution color will we'll change that to you know whatever you want. You could do uh, turquoise, is that one? Oh, it is, fun. Okay, so yeah, you can change these, play around with any of these colors. Here's our arrow background color, which is this arrow, and then the actual arrow color. So play around with that however you need. This next section is where we sort of play around with the padding and sizing of each one of these text bubbles. So the border radius has two values. The first one is the top left and bottom right borders, and the next one is the top right and bottom left. So it's kind of opposite. So we could do, uh, you might wanna do like 10 and 90, and this will be like a very, ooh, let's put in 90. This will be a, a very elongated sort of squished uh, testimonial guy right there, but I'm just gonna leave this back at 20 and 70. And then our padding, same, the first one is our vertical padding, up and down. Our second one is our horizontal padding. I'll let you play with that. Don't go too far on the horizontal because you might start to get overlapping sections like that. So be aware of that. And then our minimum height, this just sets the minimum height of each text bubble. So right now, let's just change this to 300 so you can see what I mean. This sort of keeps each text block about the same height. And so that way you don't have these different heighted sections as you go through. So just play around this, make sure this is whatever you want. Let's see if, if I put this at 100, you'll see how each one of these is a different height. So I'm just setting a minimum height of what I want each one to be. And really it's just the minimum height of the largest text bubble. And that way you can have all even, each one of these is the same height. So that's kind of nice. And then we have our pointer width, pointer height. The only thing you might wanna do is stretch out, this is the pointer right down here. You might wanna just sort of pull that out a little bit um, or shrink it up. I mean, it's totally up to you. This is your code right now. So you can see as I pull that out, it sort of widens out. Make it really wide so you can do whatever you want there. I'm gonna leave that at 34 though. 
Uh, and then we have some sort of spacing between our testimonial and our title, and then spacing between our title and our attribution. So that's what these two values are. You can make that a little wider or a little more narrow, a little closer together. Whoa, that's very wide, 517. Or a little closer together. These are the values that I've found have been pretty good, and they, they work, 34 and 8. Um, so that's sort of what I, I have them at right now. And then finally, we have all of our text, the way we might want to style our text for our attribution down here. So if you don't want a custom font, two backslashes that will cus that will that will uh, comment it out. So it's not going to get applied, and it will just be whatever the font is you have set for our title. Same thing with our text transformation. If you don't want an uppercase, just comment it out. That goes for any of these. In fact, uh, change the font size, the line height. Uh, however you want to do any of that. Then once you hit this, don't edit any code below this unless you know what you're doing um, because because it, you could just end up breaking it. So these are all the variables you might want to change. All right, so there it is. Uh, this is how you build a fun little testimonial slider on your Squarespace site. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help out wherever. Uh, and subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. Have a good day.